Had enough of this now. You sour old witch. Is this meant to be funny? Good fire here, Arthur. Javier. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. We're pretty close now. Oh, let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... Just take it slow. We need to know what we're dealing with. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay low, Arthur. Stay quiet.
Any more of them? All right, quick, let's look for the stash. We need to find the money, get the hell out of here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <coughs> hey, Mr. Fancy Pants from Mexico.
Come on now, boy. Yeah. Damn fool! You just bored? You wanna make an enemy? Hey, move it! I don't put up with no nonsense in my store. I won't have you lingering. Do your shopping and move on. Righty, let's see what you're selling. You got a few of those, do you? Thanks for your help. Well, back to it. Time to go, boy. Joking with you. Come on, you kidding me, boy, you let's jackass. Sell this like men. You're a thimble of beer away from soiling yourself. Reckon I'll pass. Knew when I saw you, it's a piss in the wind. <laughs> After you, a lot of trouble. Drunk me. fool. I shoot you with my ears closed. Oh, 
Oh, you're done now. It's a long trail for you. Oh, I love him. Same charge. Well, ain't much for you. <coughs> Out the damn way. Good to see you again, pardon. So, what are you aiming for today? Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Thanks. Just blazing about, huh? Oops. You got one mighty obvious tail there, partner. Must be tough. Good to Looking see you, like you. customer. I wouldn't run you your mouth if I was you. And what exactly are you? Look at you. Pathetic. You Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? Don't you I you didn't say talk. talk. What is wrong with this church? Hey, boy. You don't want to do this. I'm the law, and I say stop right there. Keep moving. Let's see you out around a bullet. Okay, you got me. Let's avoid any ugliness and. Ah. Kill you, what? Here. John Marston, your time has passed. Get over it. The self appointed hero. When are you going to grow up? I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Are you being good? V. 
very good. We were getting low. Well, okay. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. You know, it's good to sit down for a minute. Hey, Charles. Hello, John. You know, I... I was... I... I'll keep my eye out for some good material. Getting real low on meat here. Good job, Mr. Morgan. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. I had something Many I was gonna tell you boys and all, and I, I can't. It, it would have been amazing. God, shit, I'm sorry. I am annoyed with myself. You know, my, my dad started forgetting things. Didn't turn too good for him in the end. I just hope that I'm not gonna have that kind of future. May he rest in peace. See, he. All right, he, he liked moonshine with his whiskey, and he said it was something about the combination. And by the time he passed. He You've made a career out of right. staring into space, ain't you? Uh, not now, Arthur. Hey, get away! I wish home. you'd stayed at sea. Why Look you at you, all full of piss. Mercy. Oh, here we Come go. Come on, mercy. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the, uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I, I told you, mister. I told all he is. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you are trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Colm? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where Get we are, pasta. it's up we past all... Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? 
instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, I if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we you were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. See, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. And now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Ah, what are you doing? What was that, huh? Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. Okay, now now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse. But we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay. Get down. The cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Call me good. Be happy. He sure ain't. The next two. What's the plan? Sooner we get this over with. Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. Too much. We're moving on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Arthur! Feather on the log. What we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us then. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Mark, I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Check. You look out here. You got supplies, you real dead bastard. Give it up. What are you holding, old Driscoll? What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, sw I mean, If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. 
All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
If it is an angry Mrs. Adler. Okay, so I'm what's for dinner? Dysentery again? Evening, Arthur. Was barely half past nine. Advice of hasta un poquito. Amoroso, mayor. Me dijo, mi bonita, te quiero mucho yo. Hasta un gorrioncito. Amoroso, mayor. Y dijo, mi bonita, te quiero mucho yo. Ay, Dios, no hay remedio. Ay, Dios, no hay remedio. Dear Arthur. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. What are you doing? Are we going, Arthur? Yeah. 
All seems quiet, Charles. You've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? Pull I'll in come your with horns, you. friend. Here we are. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with... Will you shut the well, hell up? Get the hell off me! Get out of here! Don't come back. Hey, one last drink. Yeah, just one more. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Sorry, I don't know. Hey, Lenny! See that fella I was with? Sorry, I don't know. You know which way my friend went? What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Man, why ain't you never married? Lord have me. That's the thing, you see, because it... Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Yeah. Hey! Who's slippery like that? You know where Lenny is? Come on! Best ass to get, 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 get down from there! You know where my friend is? What do you know? Hey! You see my friend? Leave the kill alone, you goddamn animals! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister! Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Do I look like a Lenny 
to you. Lenny! How many of you have, pal? Damn it, Lenny! Stop slumping off on me! Lenny, go away, you're drunk. Degenerates. Oh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either of you around here no more. So, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. <sighs> 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 Yeah, 
What the hell? Dude, chump, bars open. Well, just who the hell you think you're talking to? Hey, putting on a mask is cowardly to me. Nice morning, ain't it, mister? Oh, shit. Any more trouble out of you, you know what happens. You after something, then? Just ignoring it next time. How you doing there? Move! Hey, hey look out! Please. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
Yep. All right, just careful with the pages.
Wait. Please move away from here. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Welcome. New in strawberry? Bastard. You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you, you sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one.
boy. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. 
Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall we just needs some good force. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. You hurry! There'll be more law here any minute. I'm warning you, put that thing away. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. I'm warning you, put that thing away. Like I said, I need to see someone.
Hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I. care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Sir. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Got responsibilities, you know. I'm gonna go all in. Uh-uh. This is too much. Mmm. All right. Here. Damn it! I ain't got time for close calls. I'm just calling this a streak of luck. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Where did I go wrong? I guess that's fair, ain't it? Damn. Yes.
Onwards we march. Well, nice work, Dad. I guess I'm about Bye. done. Until next time. Feeling good about this. Fine, then. Feel like having a good time right now? You should pay me. Welcome. Hey, real charmer, ain't you? So, what do you want? Well, shall we get started? Oh, you're pathetic. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. Enjoy the show, boo. That ain't no way to talk to you, Hey, Peter. mister! Can you? you fucking I'm in a real bind. This fella, he's in a fat way. You gotta help me. I'll pay you. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me. I'll show you. It was me or him, I swear. What the hell is I, this? I gotta clean this room. Can you get rid of him, please? I'll give you all the money I got. Bastard started beating on me, choking me. He was a demon in human shape. My God, you practically gutted the man. He would have done worse to me, I promise you. Now please, will you help me? Please. I am getting caught up in this, lady. What do you mean? It's too late to back out now. Ah.
Hold it right there. Now just what do you want? Damn it! in the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Stop it, Arthur. That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave it alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! We gotta do this the hard way! This is none of your damn business! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you wanna hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! I was doing just fine by myself! For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Just stop and let's talk about this. I don't have to answer to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You little jackass. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? All right, easy now. They're my friends. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Yeah! Oh, jeez! What the hell? Move! Move! Jesus Christ! What the hell? Oh, God! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! 
just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Morning. Seen how far you can push me, huh? Why don't you take your problems elsewhere? Hey there. We going in then? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... 
Somehow, I imagine I shall. How are you? Are you looking for a haircut? Like that, okay. Uh, what are you after? Good. My God, look at you fools, look at you, you're a chump, aren't you? Whatever you do, don't turn around, lady. Get up. Go! You goddamn fool! I look like the John You ain't a tourist. Well, I'm guessing you're going. a bounty hunter. Posters uh, usually go up on that wall there. <sighs> Word is, he's made a home out of an old mine. Up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown to be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. Got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? Okay, Joshua Brown, give it to me. He's a killer, got away with it for the most part too, legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're gonna step over it at some point, and that what he done. If this man's dangerous, why I gotta bring him in alive? He brought us some bounties in the past, and he's always been decent. If you don't wanna bring him in breathing, hey, you can leave this alone. Evening, sir. Well, I figure I know what I gotta do. I've had better days, that's for sure. Good luck with it. Yep. Yeah. You 
You goddamn maggot! Get this off me. I'm going numb. Jesus, ain't this sad? You hunting yourself? Quit your goddamn jokes and help me, you bastard. Help me now, or I'm done for. No, no, no. Hey, boy. Yeah.
go, boy. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Now, I'm just gonna check your pocket. Say to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. Younger days, I would have put one in the middle of Josh or right. even sleep. You ain't nothing special. You ain't gonna stay soft for very long. None of us do. You're dead, you son of a bitch! Okay, I you. wish you'd killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. A 
real man wouldn't tie me like this. A real man would I kind of regret not killing you. Okay. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what, that's what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gut shooter. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. Here we go. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Lock me up. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. You hear? I want peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're... That's fine. Sift through it quick. I've been called worse by better partner. All right. Run away. He's a real nut job.
Mr. Morgan, Morning, Arthur. I just heard that Adler woman wants to cut your dick off and feed it to her horse. Before you go around talking like that, you know what to My lord, you're a mess. Don't you start. Good morning, Arthur. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're reading. How do you ask? Just making conversation. Look at you, all full of piss and vinegar. The crap that comes out of your mouth. Horrible. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay, whatever you say. Look around. We made it. Like you always said we would. You got it in for everyone today, ain't you? I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. So, what's the disease of cynics? Doubt, Arthur. Doubt. I knew you was gonna say that. If you'll excuse me. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Something nice. Now make sure you watch this real close. Delightful, Mr. Pearson. Believe me, you'll be the first to know. Come on, Dan. There we go. day now. That was fun. Later. Hey, Lenny. We need to play again, Arthur. Let me get my revenge. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. Just make sure you don't get too big for your britches. Oh, no. Here we go. You miserable. 
miserable old grump. <laughs> yes, you, Jose. What in hell's your problem? You'll excuse me. Kind of depressing, actually. I'm just going to pretend you're not here. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Uh-oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. Not now, or well, maybe you're just staring blankly for effect. Why are you being an idiot? Now go cool off. Time to go, boy. Yeah. 
get his act together. Hey, that ain't no way to talk. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. Who you looking at, idiot? Shut in! Some kind of coward. Hide in your face like that. Yeah. Good. Folks around here actually do any work? Shut up. You got a problem? This what you want? I like you much better, Dad. Whoa there. Easy. Hey, easy now. You stop right there. Hey, get along in here. Stop! Stop! Are you dead? Stop, you fool! Now! Get help!
Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? Hmm. Been a while since you were through here. Looking to get something put together, huh? Okay, that should work. See you wearing that. Whoa. Now, careful. Easy big with man. Stop. This must be a misunderstanding. All right. Bye. See him. That's why you whip him.
You making Lost a big stop. mistake. Stop! You so much as breathe, and I'll shoot you dead right here. You're dead. Get off, son of a bitch! God damn it! Ain't you raised enough hell around here? Now, is that any way to welcome a friend? Such a lack of hospitality. Just leave us alone. We're done. Just get out of my way. Idiot.
boys. Holy I'd say serious. this is where it happened. Okay, fella. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns. Riders. Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere. Where now? Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. 
How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! Not again, you sons of bitches! Gun them down! No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Are you getting on? How long does it take? Next time, I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. 
Main thing now is getting this hall back in one piece. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn. You okay? I think so. Just keep your head down. Let's finish. job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will ya?
get the hell here. I can shoot off easy enough. I'll give you honors on account of, well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. This ain't happening. You're going you to bastard. Ah! Let's go, boy. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but, but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish?
Well, will you help us? All right, here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. Looks like it'd blow down in a light breeze. Hey, come on. Don't kick a fella while he's down. I'm done with this. Anything about this? I'll kill you. Please! I'm done with you. Just go. Oh. Come on now, boy. You get back here right now. You're making a big mistake, you fool. You made hey, my. Think about this. I'll hang your yeah. saddle. This is a big mistake. The hell's your problem, huh? Dear Lord, you're about to earn yourself a whooping. I wouldn't even worry about it. Goddamn imbecile. Welcome. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face, guaranteed. Here they're trying to reform the savages. I heard it already. No service from me. Just leave. Uh, you should calm down, partner. I need this back in a minute. Hurry it up. Please just stop. Oh, good God. 
It's me! Once an old dress school, always an old dress school. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Wasting your time pining after John. At least you I don't look like I took a blood bath. This you is to why watch the ladies love you, Bill. Now don't you start. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <sighs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> yes, you, Jose. You're turning into a real son of a bitch. Kind of Mr. Matthews. Matthews. What's wrong with you? Look around. We made it. Like you always said we Shut would. Shit. <laughs> I got no idea. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <clears throat> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well... You know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Hi, fellers. Didn't mean for the fella to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan. Not our yes. Lord. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hello there. Hello, Arthur. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, 
I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. First. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now. Cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. There we go. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, this is clearly the spot for Bluegill. Cast, Jack. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There! Got him! I see! I see! Well, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This. What? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. 
Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from... Like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. 
They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. You ain't so smart, kid. Nothing makes you happier than being miserable, does it? Hello. Howdy, partner. Phew. Out of blue blaze. Nothing like it. How do you do? Hello? What do you think hey, you're easy. doing? It's okay. Get a move Thank on, you. will you? What's the through? matter with you? I got some horse heads. Damn it, come on. We got to push back across the convoy. These dirt poor Hicks ain't got spot. Well, what you think? It ain't 
ain't been this slow in a long time. Hello there. You ain't lying. Hello, sir. I hope some federal comes through. I ain't seen blood in a while. There ain't a man amongst us who wouldn't die for the cause. Well, howdy now. I'm tired of talking. How about we get back to for the Leviticus Cornwall train robbers. Hello. Wasn't sure if I'd see you again. What can I offer you? That gun seems to be well taken care of. That could really shine with some carbon in it. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. You'll appreciate the improvement. That's going to be great. This here store's as proud and fine as the town it lives in, oh yes. Again, all right. <laughs> Take a study. Well, it'll be here when you change your mind. Oh, hey. Oh. Okay, there. Open the register right now. You That's sure? it! No one steals from Jess! Shit! Today. It's all good. Calm down. Oh, Why don't you high tail? You right making now. a don't big
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Hell, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen! Let's go earn some money. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? Get on the road. Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolfman. Go easy on them horses, will you? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's... Remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... It shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. They're left hey, here, no towards the road. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, you're a funny feller, John Marston. The my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Slow down. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. Why are you driving like a madman? We close, Marston? I blame you railroad. two for rescuing Just carry on a bit Far further. too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Fine! Damn you, tree! Sulky, angry, scarface. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Yeah. Remember, these are in the. Yeah. Mr. Marsh! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes.
I need to get up there. Nothing good. Finish up here. Join us. Hey, what was that for? Foster, come on. Keep your head. All yours, Captain. Well, go on. Check on Sean. Okay. Pay me what you got, mister. Okay. You won't get hurt. None of you folks move Don't do this. You hear me? You ain't even taking a look yet?
something in here, Arthur. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. Tennis rackets in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons. I there. Shit. We got more on the left. Easy. Close back up. Coming through the trees. You see him? Ah. Get down. Watch out. Behind us. We got more of the bastards right there. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. 
They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. it out, Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Arthur. Have you seen the way Dutch looks at Mary Beth? I'm not in the mood, Arthur. Like a dog with a piece of steak. Uh-oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. I'm just impressed. You're stringing entire sentences together. Uh-oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. God damn fool! Excuse me, no mask in the saloon. Look at you, you're pathetic, my friend. Hello again. Hope the last one stood you well. 
Got something in mind? Better than you hoped, I bet. What was you must that? really hate. Thanks for your assistance. I can see why. Wait, I know you. You won't believe this, but I got myself turned around again. Maybe somebody moved my house. You know where I live. In front of the saloon, next to the freight station. Am I heading in the right direction? Come on, it's that way. Damn drunk. You're a gentleman, sir. I swear, I'd lose my picker if it weren't Calm so. Come down, we darn fool. Morning to you. I can't believe this trick. I'm only kidding around, ma'am. Good morning, sir. These can't imagine how you lasted this long. This don't look right, but I trust you. You know where things are. Looks familiar, I think. Looks a little different than I remember. Hey, mister. Hey there. You know hiding your face makes people nervous. Mind your own are. damn business. Uh, hey, home so sweet where's your home. manners? Hey. Shut it. Must be Will it. you leave me Looks alone? Kind of I mean, different. who the hell do you oh, think well. you are? There she is. My beautiful I'm wife. Right. I like what you Wrong house, but... So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. You ain't tough, my friend. But you know how to look it. You weren't raised right. Pathetic. But at least you're trying. Okay, you whatever you want. So I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. They'll give anyone a badge these days, won't they? Want to shoot your mouth off to the law, do you? Why don't you hightail it? Right now! Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later.
Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Good? Sure. Let's go. Hey, boy. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Easy now. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. 
At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. So what now? That one of them don't. That ought to do it. All right, let's go round them up. Time to go, boy. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? You leave the sheep to me. You ride Shank. What are you getting off for? So, yeah. Where were we? Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this what are you way. Doing? Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be. Learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Come on. Hey! There you go. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Christ, you're annoying. Move it. Yeah. I'm getting away. Oh. 
Those are up, boys. There you go. What's the problem now? Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? <laughs> You're a good boy. 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. Well, we never really was. <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> Why don't you try going Let's straight? Sunshine, I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything. In the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No more. Who wants to be the Messiah?
Shoot me! Cover us! God will push the wagon! Arthur, kill him! Stop one! I'm trying! I'm gonna kill you! Get behind the wagon as we push, Arthur! You can use it as cover! doing you make sure nobody's following us we'll get back to camp we're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up Ugh. sure we can't stick around after this let's go <laughs> all right i better get out of here let's put this son of a bitch down One of you fellas better flood that son of a bitch! Let's go, boy. Yep. Yep. 
Brooklyn, I'm off of? Hello, Arthur. Hey, look! Tough Mexican freedom fighter! Uh, not this again. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch... of killers i mean it we ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers we are just trying to survive hosea so we moving yeah this will end soon damn right it will constipated as usual micah told me of a place we can lie low look here dewberry creek he said Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. spot to camp we're packing up and moving on again we have to and fast hey wait for me our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ugh, killed a lot of logs. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah! Area called Dewberry Creek! Hold up a second! So, what were you talking about before? Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but... Wait. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. I see something over there. You Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. I think I saw a camp up ahead. Let's go take a look. All right. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Come. Be careful. And being careful.
Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. You all right, boy? There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Careful. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway? When you were fishing with Jack. Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Continues along the shore here. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Huh? he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Huh? Wait a sec. Whoa! Hey. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. They carry on along this trail. Back to what I was talking about. Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year. You did? Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Whoa! Ha! Shh, shh, shh. Whoa now! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Vorsicht! Vorsicht! That's eine Pfanne! Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us! What the hell do you think you're doing?
Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Hey, Kerber! I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, shit! What the hell you do? Oh! He ain't getting free until we go! Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte! Helfen Sie mir! Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. Sie sind alle weg! Bitte, lassen Sie mich gehen! Come on. He looks in some pain there. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right, come on. Take you back to your family. Also, soll ich mitkommen? Uh. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Dem Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst! <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here, this place ain't safe! Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja!
this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Okay. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. I'm in. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, they... things all went a little... Crazy. A little crazy?
How you going, old friend? Fine. <laughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Isaiah says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this trick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Yup! Whoa! Oh. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard, before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Can't sort this out. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. 
Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go. Go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Put that gun away, now. I said we need them alive. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. Hey, stop that. I told you, no shooting. Look at you two fellas all cuddling up. <laughs> what are you doing? Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. No, I need them alive. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. What did I tell you? Get to the side of the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Put that thing away. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Uh, you cop bastards! I didn't do nothing! Uh, Arrest me now! Let go! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel.
Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? I take him. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well... Easy. I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Watch out! <laughs> yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Don't need no Which town? Road, hey, sir. Partner. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. You can show your face now. No need to fear any reprisals from the Andersons. Better safe than sorry. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. No gentleman. Okay. Hey, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right out inside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen.
Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Hey there, folks. Up for, mister. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Hey, mister. What do you want? Are you coming or not? Hello there. How y'all doing? Howdy, friend. All right, you, you be taking that mask off now, huh? There, no mask. Next time, just leave it outside or something. What's caught your eye? You looking for something else? Creek. It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. 
Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Easy. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake. Boy, that'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Okay, that was a bite. There, hooked him. Nice, you hooked him. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river. 
just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. There he is. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. All right, swim to shore. Something's nibbling. Ha, got ya. Ah, I should have had that one. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I like it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Got one. You got a bite there, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. You're getting the hang of this. That'll grill up nice. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hodea. Yes? How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I said, girl, give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd pass her by. I wish to God I passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Hey, there is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round. We care not for the martial men that do our state's disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round. To them we dance this round and round and round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know. We should not let the folks back in camp think that we have too much fun. Indeed not. Idiot! <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be OK. I know. Oh. I always know, whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. Dutch hat. Big fancy thing it was. It was a greedy bugger. I'm hungry too. I hadn't eaten oh. in three days. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. I robbed this.
Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. I won't even ask. No! Hey. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around playing. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the car. As from the moment I met him, you tried to kill him. Is that supposed to impress me? So, back to what you were saying. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Paid a good show in there, didn't they? What's the hold up back there? Right, follow me. Ha. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, 
looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. Oh, yeah, like some of them others back there sitting around. Wait, Hatch, you just ride with me. What were you jawing about before? I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. Watch it. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? Easy. You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got I out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Look out. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Let's see the horses, Dick. They've got the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Hey, not so fast. Whoa, slow it down there. Hold on, damn it. You think you are? That's just get out! Help! 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 Okay, okay, I give up. Don't 
suit. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that m is stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. Got a cold one, Morgan. Cold one. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Find Anthony yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. Hey. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just gotta be other places. There like this. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? 
Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Gah. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there... There's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. What?
Come on, pal. Yep. Good day for hunting, right? Shop's open. Welcome back, mister. Well, I heard another one of them gators that threw a man's leg off the other day. Man said that gator was bigger than his sister. Thank you for your business. Um. Okay, bye. Come on now, boy. Yep. How's about this bait, I wonder? Go! 
Got you. Fight too much. Look at you. Yes. <laughs> Where are you? Gar. <laughs> Quite a fish, too. I can't put you back. Okay, fella. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your hey, time? Hey, not so fast! What's up with hey, you? Stop there a minute, will you? I just came across in my but Yes. Can I tell you a little? Oh, God! Please, don't hurt me! Oh, what the hell? Get up. What with me? And just what do you need that gun for? Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to. Hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I hey, said friend, that. Hey, friend, don't speak to me. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders oh, are, Lord. well, mostly I've seen mushrooms with bigger brains. My men simply are not suited more for this kind of work. more personality, too. I ain't gonna stand around and take this. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? 
Why him? You get off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounties for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all that remains is to bring him in. Remember, they forfeited their right to life as well as liberty. May the virtue is prosper. Hey, boy. <laughs> Shit. <gasps> That's just cruel. Go on and move. Oh, come on. Hi there, ma'am. Hey, mister. Good morning. You're doing a great job. Welcome. How do you do? What's the sin? Time to go, boy. Hey there! Hey, mister! Hey there, mister! Hey, partner! Ah, oh, shut your mouth. Hi there, mister! Get out of my shot! What the hell's with you? Hey there! That boy. Look out! Don't look quite right. Quinn Hughes? 
Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. I, I ain't doing this myself. Come back. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off, and, and I'll wait right around here. But don't Get out of here, kids! Move! Come on! I knew we shouldn't have been here! You missed your chance, boy! Get down here! Move along! I was on my way anyway, thank you very much. No one got manners no more. You don't need that. Just talk to them. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Churchyard's closed. Get out. Run along. Are you boys going to need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're going to lick you, bastard. What? You're going to get it. Get away from me. Ah. Uh. I hope this hole's dug. No need to act like this. <sighs> All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What'd you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you.
Looks about right. I, I, I think. <laughs> Second half of the fight. We'll be famous for this. About damn time. We've been playing this too long. Guess there's nothing left to do but the lot of. Whoa! Hey, why don't you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? I won't be Not a good plan, boys. Serves him right. Let's go, boy. <laughs> you ever gonna stop going on about the old days? Should have broken your neck long ago. Oh, no. Say whatever Here you we do, go. Will, please, but I. Mr. Morgan. Getting hot wearing that, Arthur? Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Boy. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who 
Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for, for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass. Over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Home goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlint is gonna stick. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow! Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in! The water's wonderful! Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? Well, aren't you just perfect charmers? Good day to you, then. Let's try our luck somewhere else. I know another spot where hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect. For the drowning. <laughs> Very funny. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Don't tell me you changed your mind. I 
I've been meaning to try this spot out. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. Why don't you move next time? Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh... Just think now, you'll never be alone again. Is it that monster? Did you get it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a fight or whatever it is. Let's see if I can reel him in. Whoa, it sure is a fighter. It has to be the big one. You got it. Oh, amazing. Sure, what? I was the one to catch it. Well, you ain't known for your luck, Kieran. Well, I guess I'll head back to camp now. Good job, Arthur. All right, then. See you later. Hey, boy. There we go. 
Okay, fella.
Come on. Time to go, boy. Yeah. Yep. Move! I go break before I shoot you! Hurry up in there! Don't. Get out of here Please. before the cavalry comes! Wagon's loaded! Move out! Best move alone! If he wants to after us, there'll be men! What are you doing? Do it! Yeah. Get out of here!
Damn, that's... You! All right! Yep, we got them over here, boys. Who the hell do you think you are? see my face. So I gotta see yours. If not, I'll have to fetch the law. Thank you. Things go a lot more efficient when everybody obeys the rules. Thanks. Come on, get clear. Let's go, boy. I can hardly work around that mask. How about we lose it? Oh, okay then. Only a trim or something fancy like? That's pretty decent. Please, tell your friends about this. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> <sighs> Every man for himself out here. Hey, sticky fingered bastard. Wait. <clears throat> yep, yep. Yeah. Come on, pal. Hey. Stop running like a damn fool. Hey, you get the yeah. Don't make this difficult. Yeah.
up. Looking for Welcome back. So, what do you have for me? All made to measure. Quite like wearing your best day's work. I cannot believe it. Okay, all looks in order. Fresh fruit. Uh, excuse me, thank you. I'm sorry. Dear Lord. Should have moved. As I don't bear the brunt of your behaviors, bonne chance. Many fine items for your perusal. Rarities and oddities you could never imagine. Hmm, sure, I'll take a look. Something in mind? All I need are the right materials. Give me all your money. Open that thing. There is no good to come of killing me, my friend. You want money? Fine. Why don't I just give you mine? Sometimes, this country... You have made a grave error! I'm sure the uniforms will have some... Out of the damn way! Please. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. Sorry, mister. Got my own rodents to deal with. Jesus, why won't anyone help me? You got a gun, don't you? Stop being such a blouse and deal with it yourself. Hey, just because of this little situation don't mean you can degrade me. Yep. Good 
them. No way. Jump up. Oh my god. You miserable old grump. Get that horse away Relax. from here! Yeah! Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you! You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. Knife down, or you could be missing a hand, lady! What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living! Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, 
I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter is where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yes, I would like to post a letter. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Hey, moron! Yes, you! I've burnt bowls with more strength than you. Help, my sister's newborn hey, had more strength than you. Let me see that ugly mug. I'm hey, trying. Now. Try you harder. Don't need that. What's the matter with you? Oh, gee. I'm talking. I have no quarrel with you. Oh, yeah. I think this is everything. Even worse than I Thanks. thought. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Get the hell out Thanks. of here, woman. We'll give you it back me. then. Shut it. Jesus. Just let me be. ask for your goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. I'm a Come on, lady, get a move on. 
I like well, Sadie. Okay. Not lady. If you say so. I know. You're just too easy to rile up. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I am well want. Huh. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. It won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. God damn it! Get me! Think you're landing records? Oh, shut up! Oh. those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Idiot. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asked, but maybe not. Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pierce about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me 
to ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my neck was dead. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Woo, Arthur! I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Oh, yes! I'll be able to make you something out of this. Appreciate this camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my... Very nice addition, I think. Um, Not too bad. Wish I was so good. I'm having a baby, man. Guess we'll see if anyone notices. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I've come up with some ideas for ways we can improve things around here if you want to take a look. I should have broken your neck long ago. You are the creepiest man I know. What are you talking about now? What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Idiot. Easy, come on. Boy. The fish should be hungry for their dinner. Why are you so obsessed with me being English anyway? I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you, you don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Adelante. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather.
Okay, it's just down the hill here. Arthur! Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. Got one. He's a fighter. Trick is let him tire himself out. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Okay, let's try for another. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Another one. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. There you go, Arthur. He's a fighter. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. Another one. It's getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop feeding soon. Let's catch a couple more and then head back. My bag is getting full. Another one. Slowly. Slowly. Another one. Good job, Arthur.
Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying... Keep moving. This is your last... Hey! Partner. Hello. Hey, mister. Hello. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. 
Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I follow. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Hey, you Deputy, get over here, please.
well on it. Let's just move on. <laughs> Deputy, get over here, please. Don't dwell on it. Let's just move on. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Would drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Bear right again here. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I would handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Put him on the bridge over there.
think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. See one by the bridge over there? I'll tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Gentlemen, I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives. Sure, anyone but him. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. by me.
Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life move it. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near Camp Austin? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? I would love to, Dutch, but I got some other business to attend to. Oh, you do, do you? You know you'll never outrun me and the Count. Anyway, I'll see you later then. Stay out of trouble. Hi, Dutch. Yep.
I don't want any bull from you. Explain I, your right. I ain't finished. Just back off and get out of here. You look kind of stuck go up, on. partner. Keep moving. Let's go right now. I won't ah. ruin you again. This is all on you. Ah, I'm going to stain this land with your blood. Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. Lindsay! Don't let him take him away!
Lindsay Wallace. Ah! We're gonna take that body, mister. It's worth too much for you. Ah! Let's go, boy. Yeah. a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Now, let's get you back. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the tail of the south. <laughs> Drive that raid in the cart out back. Come around. <clears throat> this job gets easier the farther away you are from something neat. Can disagree.
Well, that's what they were, and not a penny more. I'm worth every penny. This here the Gray Plantation? Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the... So, how's it going? These ships keep getting longer, if you ask me. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, 
Look out for their guard. They're worse with strangers than ours are. I'm thinking when this is done, you can fill me in on the go. Look out for their guard. Idiot. You Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. 
Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. You need to talk to someone about the goings-on in your family. I could lend an ear. Well, that's kind of you, but you have got to go. Now!